Ramen mac and cheese. It's oh a Lord, thing. I know I'm gonna be mad, and it's Once not. Cooks, it Girl, them noodles is not milk. done. That's, That's not a na- what? Sis. Mix it. Oh my it's God, like girl, that look like, like paste. Them yeah, noodles man. not done. No. Oh my. Take uh, your mini blowtorch. A blowtorch for breath. what? You just. What's the What's the reason? And, and what's the reason? Sam. 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 I am. Wow. I can't even rap today. Like I just want to. Look, I'm hush. Nah, cause see, I'm gonna have to rap on this beat cause Sam, you not playing with him today. I work on hush, but I got something to say. Sam, I need to be in the kitchen with it. Cause you be cutting it, look so good to me. Sam, please. I'm hush. No, I'm not. I'm back. Cause you thought I was done. Sam, give me some honey, hun. Uh, Sam, honestly, wow. No, like for real, Sam, I'm not even joking. This is cooking. This is going to take using lasagna pasta to a whole nother level. I'm about to show you how to do this. I boil some water, put the lasagna noodles in the pot, boil them up like you're making a lasagna. But that's not what we're doing here. We're going to cut them up, put them back inside. Take your protein. I use shrimp. Pull it out the pan, use all the juices, and add your ingredients. I'll put them down below. Mix that sauce in there, put the pasta back inside, and this is how you make that Cajun creamy shrimp lasagna pasta. Salmon burgers got to be one of the most underrated items of all time. I'm going to tell you why. Very oh. fast. Move on with me now. Okay, you come salmon, on. Clean it up, hit it with some salt, throw it in a nice hot pan, get that nice sear on there. Why? Because you want that crispy skin. Now, you oh. got to cook it all the way. I'm going to tell you why later, right? Anyway, onions, parsley, green onions, garlic. Cannot forget about the garlic. We're going to chop them up just like this here. Remove Ooh. Skin, set it aside, flake up your salmon, add everything we just talked about. Mm, I didn't know you was going to do it like that. We're going to hit that thing with some red pepper flakes. We're going to hit it with some Montreal steak. See, we're gonna I hit see it that old bay. Mm. Man, you can add a little mustard. Not my new baby, but my old one. Can't forget the lime. Just okay, move on. No, that's now, right. The reason you don't want to cook the salmon all the way when you first hear it is because you want that thing to be juicy. Oh, cook it again, just like yeah. This now, sear them on both sides just like this here. I got some mayo, some chili garlic, some honey. Very nice. Uh-uh, I got some no tomatoes. tomatoes. I sauce my munch just like this here. Some arugula, the tomatoes, the mm, goddamn sear, the bacon. I don't care how they say it. And I got these fries from Publix out the freezer. Just throw them in the oven. But we really got to talk about how... How my man with pots. I know y'all miss me and I missed you too. You know what? Forget what I'm saying. I'm just going to pay attention. This is so soothing. What is that? Is this pineapple? Is that a little trick? Okay. It looks like some type of ingredient. We love that. It's so calm in the forest. I swear I'm coming out. I really am. Y'all just don't understand. It'd be a lot of shit going on, but I know it. I swear I am. What is that? A little dust. Oh, you fine, man. Them ain't pineapples. Them chocolate ain't pineapples. Them potatoes. Okay. He literally have chopped sticks. Did he saw? It's the crunch for me. It's the crunch. What you doing now, Janelle? Is that biscuits? You about to make biscuit pizza? Biscuit pizza waffle? What is happening, Lord? Alright, we're gonna trust Janelle. We're gonna trust the process. Look at this. Salami, what a pepperoni. I want I like pepperoni. I don't like no salami. What is this? A double decker a waffle pizza thingy? Child, y'all be doing everything. You knew it was gonna be a mess. Ain't no cow zone. That's a waffle zone. Well, I know what a cow zone is, but there ain't no cow zone. Come on, Janelle. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Nah, that look like an Eggo waffle, but I eat it. I eat it. It needs a little bit more sauce, but I eat it. Cool, right? Hey. I love me a good salad, says Chipotle. Okay, I ain't never heard of soya oil, but... Yeah, okay. Oil and vinegar don't mix. That's what my mama used to say. 
Okay, it's coming out a little slow. We love adobo. Just pour it in, sis. There you go. Mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Well, make it the way that I will order it. But it's okay. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Grilled veggies? Yes. Chicken for protein? Yes. Salsa? No. Yes. And of course, you gotta have one. You gotta have that guac. You gotta have that guac. Oh, you tossing it. That is so pretty. Okay, you did what you had to do, sis. Okay. Oh. Here's how to make bacon, egg, and cheese tot muffins. I've partnered with Come on. in Idaho. And Come on. They're super crispy tots. Yeah, because I love tots. Mm -hmm. Grease your muffin tin and add four tots into each section. Bacon wow. 125 degrees for Is that bacon? Time, cook and chop up your bacon into bits. Mm -hmm. Eight eggs, pieces of salt and pepper, and a few of this. I use a little garlic salt in mine. Temperature to 350 degrees. And I gently squish the tots flat oh. in the bottom of a round cup. You can also use a rolling pin to pump that in. Uh huh. You're going to cheese the bacon bits and pour the eggs evenly into 12 muffins. Bake for 10 minutes or until the eggs have set. These are great for not only breakfast, you can add them to the kids' lunch boxes or for a quick kids lunch boxes. Wow. Grown in Idaho frozen potato products. Oh, that. option for busy parents and with nine frozen potato varieties. Mm hmm. You did that. You.